YouTube. This your boy Mock Fling back with another video as expected. So what's up guys? I'm using the grease gun again in this gameplay, playing on Saint Marie Dupont Dumont. You know, this was a 29-6 gameplay. Pretty good compared to my last gameplay, so I'm happy about it. But yeah, um So I'm uploading in the morning because they, I've been switched to night check, so I don't I won't so for the next couple weeks or so while I'm still on this shelf, my video is gonna be coming out in the morning. And I'm still gonna be working at my game, trying to make it better, you know. Trying to give y'all good gameplay, something to be hype about, something to make you go crazy. And look at this as I'm aiming at this dude. Look what he tries to do. He thinks that if he drop shot, that's gonna confuse me. Not me. Still get blasted. My aim is like that. I can't help it. That's how it is. But yeah. I was thinking about not even putting a commentary on this video. I was like, I wonder how it'd be if I would just left a blank video. But I'm like, nah, I can't do that. Cause I'm pra I'm practicing to get good at commentary, so I need to practice, keep doing it, keep, keep on doing it, you know. I still haven't took the tip that I was given by a friend was to um you know, come up with something, an idea of what I'm going to talk about before. Write something down. I haven't done that yet. I'm still freestyling. Freestyling, you know, because I'm a freestyler. That's what I do. That's what I do with everything. I freestyle and keep working at it to get better. Yeah, and I know y'all getting tired of seeing this grease gun. But that's that's my favorite weapon, the grease gun. I like the, the hit detection. is very good. It kills quickly. And it's a submachine gun. You move well with it. And I try I was trying to do more effects on this video as well. For some reason I couldn't find the effect that I wanted to do. So like I said, I, I still need tips, man. Guys, I still need tips on how to get better with editing what I can do. I want to start incorporating music into my videos, but first I have to find out what to download it from and what is not gonna give me a copyright strike, you know, on the music. So y'all if you guys have any ideas, anything, comment down below. I would appreciate it. But Mock Flame, Mock Flame is going to be huge soon, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to keep grinding no matter what. No matter if I don't get a subscriber in a year. If I only get, if I end, the, end this year with 19 subscribers, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep grinding. It doesn't matter. I'm going to have fun with it. Keep getting better at the game. Keep posting videos. And even if in 10 years, that's when I reach my goal. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it as long as it takes. Because I want to be able to. My goal with this YouTube channel, really honestly, is to be able to make money. I, w I have fun with the game, but be able to make money without doing something that I like to do. Because I notice all the other YouTubers, they get on here, and this is what they do to make money. They play video games and make cash money off of this. Make a living off of this. They're able to afford what they want off of playing video games. So I'm like, man, I like playing video games. Why can't I do it? Like, so I'm gonna give it a shot and I and one thing I went into it knowing is that things don't happen overnight so I know I'm gonna have to put in the time I know I'm gonna have to put in the grind it doesn't matter to me I'm gonna do what I have to do to you know be able to live that lifestyle that I don't have to go in and work and anybody have my but it's basically like having your own little business you know people are really making it big off of just playing video games and I'm not gonna lie, that was part. That was part of it. I like playing video games. I I love Call of Duty, but I was like, man, why won't I give it a shot? And see if I can make some money off of playing video games, both posting them on YouTube. And like I said before, even going into making videos, I already knew it's going to take time. So it's no need for me to think that, hey, give it a uh, three months, I'll be able to make as much money as they they make it. I'd be a fool to think that. I knew that it's gonna take years to be able to get to that point where I'm able to actually be making money off of videos. I don't know how much they pay off of this. I haven't even started monetizing my videos yet. So I have no idea how much I, how much you get paid off of making videos, but my whole goal for, for now in the, in the early stages is just make videos and get better so I can make good content, good content that people would wanna watch. Make, be able to, have some entertainment you know and I don't I don't I don't think so most people say you got to be blessed with personality to be able to make videos I think you can gain that personality if you just keep going you know 
just be you and sooner or later you'll be able to find yourself and be able to do you and entertain people at the same time. I watch Mark of Jade. He does like, when I first started watching him, he was just silly. It was just, I I hated watching him at first. I hated all the yelling and the, the yee -yee, all the stuff that he does in his videos. I hated that. But then it started to grow on me. It was just him being him. And I started to watch the videos and I subscribed. And like, it was just him being the best that he could be, being himself, being the, the best version of himself that attracted me to his channel. And he, he also, he uploaded some crazy gameplays. Swag XBL, you know, he attracted me to Chris Smooth. He, Chris Smooth is just different from everyone else that I've watched on YouTube. He's just, his name descri describes him very well. He puts out very smooth gameplays. Like, he played the game as if it's realistic. And that's kind of what I want to take it to, but. When he played Call of Duty, he posted good gameplays, but it was obvious he was in no competition with Swag XBL, uh, Mark J. He was in no competition with them, but he posted the best gameplays that he could do, and he gave good commentaries, very entertaining commentaries that everybody watch, like watching. But hey, guys, I know I was rambling on. You know, I still haven't came up with a topic that I should purely just talk about, but. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back with another video on Monday. And yeah. Peace.